Amazon's Fire tablets. I've been using them for a while now and they're a great budget option, but the number one thing for me personally that just makes these tablets not so great is Fire OS. Fire OS is like an operating system advertising all of Amazon's services. And the worst part is that it has Amazon's App Store instead of the Google Play Store, which means you don't have any of Google's applications like YouTube, Gmail, Chrome, all of that can't be installed from the Amazon App Store. But because this tablet technically runs Android, you can sideload the Google Play Store onto this Fire tablet and have all of those awesome Google applications directly on Fire OS. And I'm gonna show you how. Okay, so in order to install the Google Play Store onto your Fire tablet, there's really just three steps you need to do. But before you get started on that, one thing that you wanna do is you wanna make sure you remove your tablet's micro SD card. And the reason for that is because we want the Google Play Store application to install directly onto the Fire tablet and not the external SD. If you happen to install the Google Play Store on the micro SD card, you can have some issues later on. So just make sure the micro SD card is removed. Now, the first thing you wanna do is go into your settings. Then you wanna go into security and privacy and then apps from unknown sources. And this is gonna bring up a list of applications. And what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that the Silk browser is selected to allow installation from unknown sources. And the reason you wanna have this selected is because we're gonna download or sideload the Google Play Store from the Silk Browser. So you wanna make sure that the Silk Browser is gonna allow you to do that. Once that's completed, now you wanna go into the Silk Browser and you're gonna download all the files you're gonna need for the Google Play Store to function. I'm gonna link the website that I use to install the Google Play Store onto my Fire tablet. It's from Android Police. It's a real easy how-to guide on downloading the Google Play Store onto your Fire tablet. So what you wanna do is open up that link from Android Police onto your Silk Browser on your Fire tablet and you wanna scroll down to where it says install the Play Store. So there's gonna be four main files that we're gonna install onto our Fire tablet. And we're gonna start off with the Google Account Manager. And if you scroll down, you can see here that there's two versions. So you wanna make sure that you select the version that's for your Fire tablet. I have the ninth gen Fire HD 10, so I'm gonna go ahead and download Google Account Manager version 7.1.2. But if you have an older version, there's a Google Account Manager there for you as well. Now, after clicking download, you may see a message stating that this file may cause harm to your Fire tablet. I haven't had any issues with any of these files, so just go ahead and click OK. Now, like I mentioned before, there's gonna be a total of four different files that we're gonna download, and we wanna install each of those downloaded files in order. So I just found it easier that after downloading it, I just went ahead and installed it right away. So go ahead and click Install, and after that's finished installing, we're gonna go back to the Silk Browser, back to the website, and now we're gonna move on to the next file that we're gonna download, Google Services Framework. Once again, look for the version that's for your Fire tablet. I'm gonna go ahead and download the version for my Fire tablet. Once that's downloaded, go ahead and hit install one more time. And now we're gonna go back to the Silk Browser and go to the next file to download. The next file will be Google Play Services. Once again, select the file for your Fire tablet, hit download and install. And finally, the last file that we're gonna download and install is the Google Play Store. So go back to the Silk Browser, and this file is for all Fire Tablet models, so you don't have to select a certain one for your Fire Tablet. Just click Download and Install. And once that's finished, you can go back to your home screen and you'll see there the Google Play Store. You actually have the Google Play Store on your Fire Tablet. Hopefully, if you did everything correctly. Now you have access to Google applications like YouTube. And one thing that you wanna do is go ahead and go into the Google Play Store, download the YouTube application, log into your account, go to the search bar, type in Retethered Tech, and hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. But that's pretty much it. Now you have the Play Store on your Fire tablet. You can also install other Google applications such as Gmail, the Chrome browser, and much more. I personally think this makes the Fire tablet so much better. One of the drawbacks from Fire tablets is that they didn't have any of Google's applications, but the ability to sideload it just makes it so much better. Hopefully you liked the video. Hopefully this helped you out. And if it did, once again, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any of our new videos. Thanks for watching.